Hello buddy, we're back again for another preview. Manchester United versus Burnley this season, um, this game. Another home game for Manchester United and another chance to get three points. Of that impressive display at, Sheff at, at Old Trafford against Sheffield United. It should be another comfortable win for Manchester United. I think yes, we can see the goals and yes, there was a lot of negatives as well as positive from the game against Sheffield, but I do certainly think we did really, really well to get the win and we played some really, really good dominant football. I'm hoping we can see the same again now. Burnley, I think they won 4 1 in their last game. Listen, they were a team fighting relegation, kind of similar to Sheffield United. We've got to go into the to game plan and we're going to be delving into, into the whole preview again today. Listen, as I said, there's a chance for Manchester United to get another three points on the belt. As I said, it's not going to be an easy game. Sheffield United, to sorry, Burnley play some decent football. And listen, there's definitely going to be times where we can see chances. I mean, we've got to limit out the individual errors. Another one against. Um, Sheffield with the Onana mistake, we got to try and limit them as soon as possible. I mean, we we genuinely we can't lose this game. Um, it should be a game that Manchester United should be winning with ease, in my opinion. I think Sheffield are a team who struggled a lot this season. Why do I keep saying Sheffield because we played them? Burnley are a team that struggled this season. And yes, they do have their obvious threats. Alderbert, I think he's a fantastic player. Um, they've got other players as well who can certainly cause issues. And they are a very, very good team. Um, you can't dis... dis um, underestimate is the word you can't underestimate any any opponent in the premier league so you've got to be very very careful how we go into this game we have got some team news which i can give you now um from manchester united now we know that there's no lindel off varan martinez varan we hope to understand that he will be back hopefully be back by the fa cup final which is obviously in the f the fa cup final which is obviously in 30 days time um, but yeah, listen, it, it's huge. It's huge. Um, this game, Burnley are. Listen, we can't. As I said, we can't underestimate many any teams. So the team news is we, we're unsure on Rashford actually, but I don't think he start anyway. I don't think Rashford deserves to start. I think the wingers that played yesterday. I'm going to talk about another. I think Ahmad should be starting this game, so I'll be talking about that when we get to the team news. But I think this game is a chance to get some. I mean, we've got a positive one goal difference, which is absolutely brilliant because we've we've had a really, really poor goal difference these past few weeks, um, particularly the whole season, actually. So having a positive goal difference is a positive. I think with Eric Den Haag and Manchester United, we found it difficult to... We've created a lot of chances to be fair to us, but we struggled to score goals. I mean, you look at the chances we created yesterday, Garnacho should have scored, what, two, three. Anthony, like Bruno had a few, and he, even he scored two. So we are creating chances, it's all about converting those chances. And that's something we've got to do in a game against Burnley. As I said, we've got we just have to win every game and see where that takes us from. Now we've got tough games coming up. I think this game's a chance for us to get three points under our belt. And listen, we know how Burnley are going to play. Um, they're going to defend. Look to nick a nick a goal. They they're big threat from set pieces. Um, so we've got to be very very careful from that. But other than that, I think I'm really happy with how the game should go. Um, Listen, in the last five games, Manchester United have actually drawn three, lost one and won one. Drawing to, obviously, Liverpool, Bournemouth and Coventry. Uh, obviously, we, beat, we won the Coventry game. Um, beating Sheffield United and losing to Chelsea. You look at um, Burnley's games. In their last five, they've drawn three, lost one and won one. So, they're kind of the same as us. Their last game, they beat Sheffield United 4-1. Obviously, relegating, uh, in fine relegation, they've got a draw against Chelsea this season. Look at how they play. They obviously are 19th in the league. They're on 23 points. They've got a minus 32 goal difference. Um, so it should be on paper a relatively straightforward game for Manchester United. If you want to look at some stats in the game, Manchester United ranked 11th in goals scored per We haven't lost to Burnley in their last six meetings, obviously winning five and drawing one. Obviously a great Bruno Fernandes goal to win us the game last time, in which was a very, very tough game. I remember that against Burnley. They did dominate us and did have many many chances to score and we haven't kept a clean sheet in in our last seven matches so that's something to be aware of in the game Burnley they ranked 18th in goals scored per match I mean 1.1 goals per game they haven't kept a clean sheet in 17 matches and have scored eight goals in their last five matches so that's something to certainly look out for their goal to at eight and five is actually quite impressive and I think they will create a lot of chances to score against Manchester United I mean you look at our top scorer they've got Lyle Foster We've got to see Bruno Fernandes, five goals for him, ten for Bruno. Listen, we should be winning this game. 
like genuinely we should. I mean, you look at our last me and as I said, it was 1-0, 2-0 um, before that. Listen, we sh it should be a game that we're winning. And you look at how we go into the game. We've got to make sure we're coming out with the three points. Uh, we've got to take Bruni for the advantage. I mean, if we can play how we did against Sheffield, keep a clean sheet, score goals, it'd be a typical and be a great game for Manchester United, a game that we obviously love to watch. Um, so, listen, let's get into the predicted team. Quickly, though, let me look at how Burnley are expected to play. Um, that's, something, that's something that we're obviously very, very intrigued to see because we want to see what... what our opponent can do. Um, so they set up with a three, no, four four two formation. Um, Odebert, as I said, is a good player. Bettino, I think he's a decent player. They've got Sanderberg, Cullen. Like, they've got good players in midfield um, attacking as well. Listen, we look how Manchester United will play in this game. Let's get into the predicted team. So for me, obviously Andre Nana in goal. He made a mistake against against um, Sheffield, but we ended up winning the game. But other than that, I think he was actually actually quite good in the game. Um, and listen, Nana is going to be imperative. He made some decent saves um, against Sheffield United. Yes, he conceded two goals, but still we were we were fairly decent in that game. Um, and Nana was imperative to that. For me, as I said, I'll keep the four backs in the position that they are. I'd go Wamba Saka right back. I think he looked really, really good. They looked sharp, composed, collected, did his job well, played on the ball, did everything we expect of Wamba Saka. And I think he just looks so much more comfortable on that left left back position. Some of the Ericsson Hargis obviously identified as well. Left back, obviously Delo. Delo's been really, really good. Um, can't say too much bad about Delo recently. His performances have been steady. Ian Wade had bad performances. He's been decent as well, so you've got to give credit to him. Centre backs, there's no news update on, on Kambuala, so it's going to have to be Casemiro and, and Maguire. I mean, Maguire played really, really well, getting a goal again against Sheffield. He was dominant, he was winning his aerial duels, he was fantastic. Casemiro as well, he put in a solid shift, didn't look too bad at all. Listen, they're two players that we've needed and they've done so well for us. I think, listen, it's, we're coming up against another relegation side. We should be able to see them out and we should be able to do it with the experience that these two players have. Into midfield, I'd probably keep the same midfield three, actually, that started against Sheffield. I think there was a lot of control in that game. Mount will not be back for the game. Um, so it would be Maynou, Eriksson and Bruno Fernandes in that midfield. I think Eriksson and Maynou had really, really good control. They were moving the ball around really, really well. What I noticed about Maynou as well, he was playing quite high, which meant Bruno and Eriksson were dropping in. And that's probably something that Eric Ten Hag has instructed, has instructed as well. I think Bruno liked to dic dictate play from deep as well. So that's something that is really, really nice. And that's something that hopefully we can implement in our game a bit more. I think we should be controlling the ball in this game as well. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Obviously, wingers for me, Ahmad, for me, deserves to start. I mean, Anthony's performance against uh, Sheffield wasn't great. I mean, he played 55 minutes, 83% accuracy. On his passes, he had 50 touches. Like It wasn't great. But if you compare that to Ahmad, when he came on at the 55 minute, he had 35 minutes, 94% passing accuracy. Um, listen, Ahmad just a player who knows how to keep it neat, tidy, and, and very, very good on the ball. And for me, he does deserve to start. Um, I think he does offer a bit more than Anthony for me in that right wing. He might not be as quick as Anthony, but his overall game's for me, much, much better. On the left, Garnacho, I mean... When he comes off, we normally tend to concede. He got an assist in the game against Sheffield United for the Maguire goal. He looked good. He attacked He attacked really, really well. Went one-on-one, -on -one, went on the outside, went on the inside. Had two great opportunities to score as well. So, yeah, it was it was a great performance by, by Garnaccio yesterday. And see if we can do some more today. Uh, sorry, against Sheffield. Burnley and up front, obviously, Rasmus Hoyland. Great for him to get a goal against uh, Sheffield and hopefully he can build on that. He's got, what, 14, 15 goals this season. Really, really happy with the performances. And let's see if it's a big game for Manchester United. I'm going to go, hopefully, for a Manchester United win. Let's see what we can do. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.